Good evening, Spots fans! Welcome to the Spots Random and it's late! Tuesday night, May 24th, 2016, I'm Peter Wiggins. Let's say I found it! Fenway Park and Boston, Massachusetts, where the Boston Red Sox square off against the Kyle Rockies. First of our three game series at Fenway Park, and the Sox go on the board first! On a day with a T single on a ground ball to left fielder Gerardo Pereira. That scores Des Pedroia and Zoda Bogarts makes it 2-0 for the Red Sox. Then, top of the second, Rookie Challenge attack play and call on the field was overturned. Rada Pereira pulls on the line drive to left fielder Chris Young that scores Brad Rayburn. And it was 2-1 in favor of the Red Sox. Then, then, bottom of the second, Christian Vasquez triples on a fly ball. The center fielder Charlie Blackman that scores Jack Barry Jr. And was 3-1 in favor of the Red Sox. And then, Mookie Betts down to South Carolina, but as a center fielder, Charlie Blackman that scores Christian Betts again, it was 4-1 fitted to the Red Sox, but then in the top of the third, Charlie Blackman almost had a 5 out of right field, and makes it 4-2 fitted to the Red Sox, with the top of the third, and then bottom of the fourth, David Ortiz doubles on a line drive, and the right field calls him down to score Cesc Petrus, and twelfth double, but Ortiz makes it 6-2 Red Sox, and Bogart scores, and Chris Young singles on a line drive, the left fielder, Javada Parada, that scores David Ortiz, and it was 7-2 fitted to the Red Sox, and then, Top of the seventh, Harada Parada, so out of the sacrifice button to first base with turn shot that scores Carlos Gonzalez with seven free Red Sox. And then, Dustin Pedroia, second on the top top five, bottom right fielder, Carlos Gonzalez that scores Mookie Betts, and Dustin Pedroia at second base, Miss Catcher for my third base, but no one rendo as the Boston Red Sox beat the car. Rockies 8 to 3 to go to 27 17 in the season. As David Price got the win, he got 17 pitch, gave up five hits and three runs on strikeout six, while Jorge Dale also got the loss. So, so the Rocky Square off at 7 10 p.m. tomorrow night at Fenway Park with Seaman Ryan, a man for the Red Sox, and Chad Bettis, the man for the Rockies, the Colorado. Okay, let's take a look at some. Spots news on this late. Take a look at some Major League Baseball scores on this late. Two the night. Pittsburgh Pirates all over the years on the Diamondbacks, 12-1 in the top of the eight. Bottom of the night, Chicago Cubs climbing in St. Louis Cardinals, 12-1. Bottom of the night, Milwaukee Brewers are leading the Atlanta Braves, 2-1. Top of the seventh, Texas Rangers leading the Los Angeles Angels, 3-0. Top of the seventh, Houston Astros and the Baltimore Royals, 2-2 two, two apiece. Bottom of the sixth, Cleveland Indians leading the Chicago White Sox, 6-2. Top of the sixth, Kansas City Royals over the Minnesota Twins, 6-4. Top of the first, Los Angeles Dodgers, Cincinnati Reds, no score. The same goes to the Seattle Mariners, Oakland Athletics, and... South Coast Giants, Center Panthers get in the way shortly. Tampa Bay, Rays on the Miami Mons, 4-3. Washington Nationals on the New York Mets, 7-4. New York Yankees shut out the Tara Blue Jays, 6-0. And then the Detroit Tigers over the Philadelphia Phillies, 3-1. How about those Red Sox at 28-17 in the NHL scoreboard? And the Tampa Bay Lightning will look to try to take the Eastern Conference Finals and a trip to the Stanley Cup against the Pittsburgh Penguins in game number six of the Eastern Conference Final and through two periods. It is Pittsburgh Penguins leading the Tampa Bay Lightning three to nothing. And the NBA, the Oakland City Defender and the Gold State Wars in game number four of the Western Conference Finals and Oakland City Tundra, late in the goal save war, 69 50 with 104 left in the second quarter. Alright. The Not Lancers baseball team fall to the Bellingham Blackhawks 6 1, while the softball team defeated Bellingham 6 0 for that Bellingham and Not High School. Boys Lacrosse team fall to Plymouth North 12 5. Alright, take a look at some spots news. Jack Lamarty Jr. the Sicily Mythology the Hidden Street. Shot this time to vote the win over the NFL owners was a lot less stressful to stand in the here. Justin and Arnold rubber stamp as Atlanta, South Florida, and Los Angeles were the Super Bowls in 2019, 2020, and 2021. The center photograph celebrated UCL's record $280 million student apparel deal with Under Armour on Tuesday was practically missing someone. Green Bay, Wisconsin. Eddie Lacey did more than just beat 90 acts after Green Bay Packers coach Mike McCarthy called about after last season for being overweight. Trenton, Alex Rodriguez would to be back on the disabled list and back to the H of the Yankees on Tuesday night. That was played as and the Yankees were recently on Sunday when manager Joe Girardi said it against before after the win. Get it? 
Russia has cleaned up its act and had the decision by the International anti doping Body next month on women to lift the ban of Russian track and field athletes in the real Olympics, the Russian sports minister said Tuesday. Not all in the past five years really happened at the track. Lots happened on the grounds all over there, studying funny stuff and awful stuff. But say stuff and working class stuff. Touch us up. New York Mets give Ty Kelly a long time minor league or his first shot at the majors. Jenna Manziel's friends have confided to TMC that Woody is going to die if he doesn't get up soon. As Jenna Early on, Cody returns to just Serena Williams is just fine. Dave Bira, Hero's Dep, and CT's Arrival. And another strong pitch to improve officiating across the items. Bell board the NFL orders on Tuesday pass in the Amendment to League. Wheels that should help referees receive help from the League Office of New York during games. And more being considered administrative. <coughs> Nigel Hayes tested an NBA draft process but ended up with not quite hearing what he needed to order a stay in draft. Hayes will return to the Wisconsin the senior season and withdraw from the 2016 NBA draft. To a sports reporter, Craig Sager has been selected to receive the Jimmy V. Prince Award at the in July. Sager, 34 year Turner veteran and public site TNT sideline reporter known for wearing flashy shoots, has continued to work with his battles cancer. A week, Buffalo Bills assistant Rob Ryan gives instruction to the outside linebacker, many lost on the Tuesday's work at it in pro sports training center as Ryan goes to the defensive mode to explain Shaq lost in surgery. And that is going to be it for a spot for a minute. It's late to that. May 24th, 2016. Good night. See you tomorrow night. Good night.